my art supplies and video equipment have just flat out started to take over my apartment. <gasps> so now what? Well, I thought to myself, self, let's create a stylish and affordable storage solution. That's right, it's an IKEA hack today on Cat Leapin's Art. IKEA really is the best place to start an IKEA hack. They have cool modern furniture and Swedish meatballs. So I started by searching their website. I live in a small Chicago apartment with no workshop, so I needed something easy to build with limited tools. And look, you can even paint this one. I purchased the cabinet, hauled it home, and now it's time to unpack every single piece and part to begin the assembly process. The assembly instructions for the Ivar cabinet have no words, only diagrams and numbers, and many, many pages, just like most pieces of IKEA furniture. I like to sort and count everything to make sure nothing is missing before I start building. It looks like it's all here and accounted for. Let the build commence! Let's draw on my iPad. Once I finished building the cabinet, I used my iPad to take photos of all of the surfaces that I plan to paint. Then I upload those photos into Procreate, size the images to my canvas, and layer my rough sketch on top within a semi-transparent layer before I start inking all of my lines. The added benefit of buying this particular IKEA cabinet is that the wood comes unfinished. I don't need to sand or do any kind of prep work before I prime. As priming goes, I do a lot of it. Whether it be on canvas, on wood, even clay surfaces before you paint, you need to put down a barrier or a primer coat. I actually buy it by the bucket because I do it so much. And for priming, I use brushes. I use either the foam or the larger ones with the bristles. They really don't need to be anything fancy. They just have to get the job done. Now it's prime time.
Now that I finished projecting and tracing my digital sketch onto the cabinet, it's time to start painting. I wanted to bring up an interesting note about my process. If you watched me working on my iPad earlier, I started with the sketch and the outlining first, then added color. When I work with paint, I actually do the opposite. So you're gonna see me block in all of the color first, and then once I have everything the way that I want it, I go in with those crisp outlines and bring everything over the finish line. So let's get started with all the satisfying color application. I just finished blocking in all the color on the cabinet and I think it's looking pretty good. But as we know from my other videos, it's the outlines that really make my pieces pop. And I'm using black outlines which will color coordinate with the final accessorization that I have planned for this cabinet. So follow along with me in this next admittedly pretty tedious step, but you'll see when I'm finished that it's really worth it. Let's get to it. Now for some sexy legs. I bought these hairpin legs to paint, so let's take a little field trip and go do that. 
All right, I'm here in the freezing cold workshop. I've got my woolly hat, my flannel on. Let's start spray painting. back in the studio and it is much warmer in here. Next up is attaching these black matte spray painted hairpin legs to the cabinet. But first I've got to turn this puppy upside down. So let's see how this goes. Let us observe as this tiny blonde artist attempts to append her cabinet. Things seem to be going smoothly, but now she takes on a hefty lift. Is that the sound of shelves clattering? She probably should have removed those, but folks, yes, she's done it, success. <laughs> I'm not only super stoked about the amount of supplies I can store away, but also about how the cabinet looks. Maybe IKEA should hire me. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment and a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and bell too, because I have a lineup of really interesting projects that you won't want to miss. And as always, thanks for watching Cat Leapin's Art. <laughs>